All right, what is up, guys? Welcome to another Puffin live stream. Hope you're all doing well. What? Dogs going around here. Um, yeah, how's it going, Tony? And do the Lucas kill chain? Yeah, what's up? And Vic, insanity. How's it going, guys? Um, let's get the show on the road. We haven't done this one in a while. Yeah, it's me and Kachu. How's it going, man? We haven't done this combo in a while, I should say. Um, let's get at it, though. Um, okay. I got two counters to maintain tonight. Beautiful. And let's go. We're at 3,001 for, uh, Moltres. That's sickening. That is, like, mighty sickening. I hope we get that one tonight. We, we, we almost got to. You don't know where your headphones are, so you can't hear me? Oh, no. That sucks, Tony. Kind of a requirement for a live stream to be able to hear the streamer, right? Kind of. Unless you got, like, captions or something. I don't know. Oh, uh, run. Not shiny. 819 for Shaman. Crazy. Not too bad, though. And there we go. And restart. Hey, what's up, Trudy? It's good to see you, man. Welcome to live stream. How's it going? What's new in 3D land? Just one sec, guys. I gotta stretch a little bit. Ah, oh, there we go. And run. Caitlin the Rose, how you doing? What's up? Welcome. Puffin, my man, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I haven't been streaming as much lately, but um, the past week or two, I've been getting back into the groove of it. But yeah, it's good to see you, though. Hope everything is fine. Tired too all day. Had a uh, rumor theology appointment. Okay, cool. How did that go? Good, I hope. Getting ready for a bubble bath after pizza you should be relaxing night. Yeah, Vic, go for it, man. It sounds super relaxing. And there we go. 3,008. And run. All right, let's backtrack and do it again. I don't forget to drop a like on the stream, guys. That'd be fantastic. Thank you so much. And next we're in a collarbone and lower back, waiting for MRI. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Hey, Tony. How's it going? You got them? Got your headphones? Arna, it's good to see you. Welcome to live stream. You moved to this place. Uh, has a big bath place. Only showers previously. Oh, okay. Right, right. Nice. More options are always better. Well, not always. Don't you hate it in a restaurant when you get a menu and there's like 5,000 options and you keep telling the waiter is like, just give me a sec. Give me a sec. Yeah, like I, I, I hate that. I just rather like give me 10 options and tell me which one is popular this week. <laughs> that means the chef is doing something right. Well, I'm doing good, Aaron. I hope you're doing well. Thank you, sh thank you, Tony, for adding the shine, uh, one gram of pure shiny luck, to the uh, to the pile. Amazing. Yeah, and like fifteen bucks. I know, right? Oh, you're doing good. Awesome, Erna. That's good to know. And guys, sorry I was a little bit late on the stream. Then, um, for some reason, I thought it was like uh, six forty-five my time, but when I relooked at it, I saw it at six thirty, and I was like, I better get going. <laughs> I didn't know it was actually, yeah, I totally miscalculated that. 15 minutes. But yeah, it's just one of those things. Sometimes I'll do 6.45, sometimes I'll do 6.30 sort of thing. And let's do this one. Three fifteen coming up, or thirty fifteen, I should say. Three thousand fifteen. We're way over odds on that one. Yeah, it's late for you, anyways. Yeah, I get that. Over in the UK and stuff. Ah, oh, there we go.
I'm on Shaman. 824 isn't so bad. You know, it's not like terrible for 1 in 4096, but, but, <laughs> I, I get a feeling like luck is on my side a little bit, but I don't know. I'm getting, I'm questioning that now. Yeah, France, yeah. It's around midnight. Oh, really? Wee oui, wee. Oui. Yes. Tony says wee oui, wee. Oui. I have to read it out. 10 11 p.m. for you, yeah. What would you like tonight, sir? Give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Wait, hold up. I think you give me a lot of bacon and eggs. Just give me all of the bacon and eggs, yeah. Every bit of it port on what do you call that in the uk is it bacon and eggs or what's the bangers and mash thing is that bacon and eggs or is that something else i can't remember that's a big popular uk breakfast thing isn't it something like that i don't know never heard of bangers and mash and you're from the uk really Bangers and mash is sausage and mashed potatoes. Oh, it's a dinner? Okay. Yeah, okay. I heard that was like a popular UK. Maybe it's not. I don't know. And beans? I don't know. <laughs> and 3021 over there. Oh, it's popular? Okay. That's a chill song. I don't like it. Beans are overrated, yeah. Okay, uh... UK's breakfast equals lunch, dinner in every other part. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Well, I mean, actually, I got to use one of these. I, uh, here in Newfoundland, uh, we have like, um, we have some like places where they have fish for breakfast as well, which is kind of popular, you know, but it depends on what you serve. Depends on uh, kind of like the occasion and the fish, that sort of thing. Dun, 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 dun. All right, there we go. Other beans are so much better. I'm not an expert in beans. All I know is Every time I go to like, like a vacation or something and there's a buffet, there's always beans and that's the only time I tasted them. I just, to me, there's only like one kind of beans or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm not a bean connoisseur. I'm like, I don't know anything about beans. Yeah. What's up Ashton Thomas? How's it going? What's up? Welcome. Ash, donate that dollar US. Thank you, Ash. I do appreciate it. Ah, uh, yeah, donuts in the chat for Ash. Thank you, Ash. How's it going, my friend? Baked beans cooked in a pot on the hob and ready to serve. Add some black pepper, him hilla uh, Himalayan salt, paprika, and a half a tablespoon of butter. Are you you're getting into recipe stuff there now, man? Three quarts, three quarts of milk. <laughs> Thank you, 3D, for that. And thank you so much, Ash. I appreciate the dollar. Uh, there we go. Restart. 827 coming up in Flower Paradise. We're live from Flower Paradise, guys, and, and Ultra Space tonight. It's the only way to do baked beans, yeah, probably. Probably, possibly, yes. And run.
Oh, you love Subba for Lullaby, this remix is, uh, is not in its favor. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, just chill more than anything. Well, I know what you're saying. There's better out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't knock it until you try it. Yeah, absolutely. I'll try anything at least once. I'm not a picky eater, um, but uh, but there's always a bot, right? Um, for me, it would be so like, uh, you know, like I, I'm, I'm more like if someone says, oh, you got to try this burger joint. The burgers are amazing. It's like, it's pretty difficult to mess up a burger. You know what I mean? Like you just don't over or undercook the meat. You just put it right in the middle. Um, slap cheese, bacon, and some like really tasty, like high calorie sauce on it. And some nice toasted buns or non toasted and just like, and nice bread. And that's a burger. And if you can, if you get, if you can screw that up, or if you screw that up, then it's like weird. But when people say, "Oh, you gotta try this place," it's like an amazing burger. I'd rather like probably spend all that money on something that's like different than a burger, or and and that's a little bit like kind of um, there's different. Like it's a difficult challenge for the chef to make it right. You know what I mean? Um, and that's the rare food, and that's what tastes good. You know, if if you can do that, but. I'm not one for paying 30 bucks for a burger. Like I, I can easily get, like if I want a burger, it's like, just go buy it somewhere else, like cheaper. Hey Sanity, how's it going? What's up? And done. 30, 37, my God. cheeseburgers from mcdonald's top tier oh yeah like i mean there's not much variation between like a fast food burger and a gourmet what they call a gourmet burger it's just like the, the very definition of it is patties between bread and what you put in there bacon and all that stuff makes the big difference right that's like a, i'd love to see a like um you know like wine tasters and people who can like like smell differences between like certain mushrooms or something i'd love to be able to like do a blind study on that on some of them and see what their success rate is like when someone says oh that wine is like that's like an oak that's like an oak finish from like i don't know southern france probably 18 kilometers outside of uh nice france or something and it's like oh yeah well that wine was actually from the local gas station man like, <laughs> you know, I'd like to see how many of them are actually correct without knowing beforehand where the wine is from. I bet you there's a high bullshit rate with that. <laughs> you prefer McDonald's burgers? You love the onion rings? Yeah, yeah. I don't. Do McDonald's put onion rings on burgers? I've never seen that. Hey, Puffin, long time no see. Remember me? I do remember you, Saul. How's it going? What's up? Welcome. Uh, I see the same about recommended movies, Puffin. Uh, the disappointment is bigger since you take up people's word for it. Yeah, I know, right? It's all hype. Yeah, I get that. And to me, like, movies are no different than books when it comes to reviews. Like, some people can, like, find a certain genre interesting, a certain way the characters and story are interesting. Some people are so much in love with the lead character, the movie could really be a dud, but, like, they're going to praise it up because they're in love with the lead character or the lead, like, actor. So, so like, yeah, it's very subjective. Um, I'd be more interested in like, um, you know, taking a wide sample of people around like your interest and your age and, and then you can narrow it down a bit more. Like, I don't want to hear a movie review from like an eight or like a, a 14 year old kid uh, that has completely different like lifestyle and interest than me. I'd rather hear from someone my age or something, and then you can generally tell if it's a good movie or not, right? But yeah, I, I try not to pay attention to too many reviews as well. Try not to. Wine tastes absolutely disgusting to you. Give you a good whiskey or rum. Yeah, right. But I, th I think Metacritic does a pretty good job, like, um, with some things, but, uh, I find, uh, I find like a lot of the online review stuff can be really cheesed. Honestly, I'd rather watch a YouTube video, right? 
Just watch a YouTube video on movie reviews and see someone like analyze the movie and pick it apart. And then you can see their facial expressions too, instead of like writing and you can see how they feel about it. Um, that's probably more valuable than like reading a review about a game or a movie or something, you know? How many of you guys have ever like, before you bought the game, how many of you ever went on YouTube and just like Google streamers that are streaming the same game or went on YouTube and Google, technically it's the same thing, but you know what I mean? Search for someone um uh like you know like uh playing that game that you want to buy and then you make your decision uh based on their gameplay right so that's the kind of like reviews and stuff that are more valuable right did you start the fallout show yet puffin only watch one episode there are some minor issues with it mostly nitpicky but it seems like it has potential i haven't started it yet i've just been busy i might uh, look at an episode tonight i'm not sure though we'll see if i if i'm not too busy you also watch like 500 videos before getting a switch <laughs> yeah it makes a difference right it totally does like like if people like look at reviews for cars or 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 phones or like you know a switch for instance there's no reason why they can't do it for movies and games like content as well right oh your switch got it needs repair yeah i think you mentioned that last uh last time too Episode one's about 75 minutes. Okay. I saw the trailer for Fallout to Fallout, but uh it looked all it looked okay. Like I, I didn't mind it. Um I like I always liked the game, but I just found there was always something like a little bit crappy that I hated about each Fallout. Like Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas was amazing. Um, but there was always something like even like Fallout 4. Um it's like, uh, I think the main character broke Bethesda tradition and the main character had dialogue. Like you could actually speak with voice. I didn't really like that. I prefer like in my RPGs, I prefer silence and just pick menu options or character dialogue options. That's my favorite thing to do. Um, I don't like when it speaks, that sort of thing. So I didn't like that about Fallout. And I think at the end of Fallout 4, the story fell apart a bit. I didn't, I didn't really like the story towards the end. It got kind of bland and a little bit institutional um and uh like careful so uh yeah but i do appreciate uh, fallout 3 for sure depends on uh yeah new vegas is greater than three is greater than four greater than 76. uh yeah 76 is an online game though isn't it yeah see the show holds up also guys what pokemon are you shiny hunting let me know did you get any shiny since we've last talked on the youtubes please let me know I want to hear, I want to hear about it. None. Hey, Way Gaming, how's it going? Oops, I went way too far then. Also, guys, I uploaded a new Clod Sire video. It was just an idea I had. Um, uh, go check it out. Uh, I yeah, I, I wanted to always do a Clod video with the new kind of like um, where you can control Pokemon now with that new DLC in Scout and Violet. Go check it. Yeah. M-M-M-O-F-P-S-R-P-G, jeez, <laughs> right? <clears throat> if I ever get into real hunting, not the random lucky encounters, I'd start with Suicune, love it. Yeah, Wicca, nice, of course. Hey, Jerry, how's it going? What's up, Jerry, welcome. And there we go. Yeah, thanks for sharing that, 3D, I appreciate it. It's going, how is everyone? We were just talking about food and and like movie reviews and game reviews and how people review things and and more food and, and some gaming and stuff. <laughs> we were talking about a bunch of things here, uh, uh, Jerry. Still addicted to Celsius. It's funny because the last time you were here, I was probably drinking Celsius and there was a big gap in between where you probably weren't here. But like, it's it's one of those things you randomly saw me twice doing it and you think I'm doing it all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, the Tropical Vibe one, I, you know, yeah, I, I'm kind of addicted to it, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. Pig Step by Curly, nice. Yeah, that's the tropical vibe one.
Yeah, the tropical one is pretty good. The orange one is good. Um, Costco has 18 cans down there. And they're um, a mix between like this peach, this tropical, and the orange one. And honestly, I wish I could just buy 18 orange ones. Because like orange is the best one. And it's like, how come we just can't buy 18 orange? They always got to mix the flavors up, I guess. Are Canada's metrics the same as America, Puffin? Meters, Celsius, kilograms. Um. Uh, no. Uh, the United States uses, like, uh, yards and miles and stuff like that, and Fahrenheit and pounds instead of kilograms. Canada's a mixed bag. Like, when we measure things scientifically, we all obviously, and, like, distance and stuff, we use, like, uh... We use meters and like kilometers or kilometers or whatever. And uh, uh, temperature is Celsius, but like for cooking, we 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 have like mostly use Fahrenheit for cooking because most of our ovens are made in the States, like the US. Um, and sometimes like in the grocery store, we weigh food by the pound, but um, like if you were to go to the hospital to get weighed, it would be in kilograms or something. Uh, like, so it's a mixed bag depending on the application and what you do, but for the most part, it is the metric system, yeah. Uh, the orange flavored stuff, yeah, it's good. Anything orange flavored stuff is amazing, isn't it? Hey there, Poke Nerd, it's good to see you. How's it going? Can you send my link? Can you mod? Can mod send my link? What? What are you talking about, Eli? I don't know what you're talking about. How's it going, though? Yeah, mixing it sounds complicated. Yeah, it does. It does. And like our vehicles will have miles and kilometers on the speedometer. Like it'll, if it's in Canada, the kilometers will be up top. But, and then um, in little text underneath it, it'll be like miles. What the equivalent to miles would be. Hey, Sunny is good to see a Cantonian fried Moltres. Right, Sunny? Right. Um, let's go down here. And Sea Break Path, Flower Paradise. I mean, very romantic names in the game, but no shiny. And don't forget to uh, drop a like on the stream, guys. I'd appreciate it. And uh, also, if you're new here, dropping a sub would be cool too, if you haven't subbed already. Dun. And run. That was a good version of Pig Step. I will remember that one. And restart. I love the vibe sorry video you made recently. Wish you could have gotten more views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Poke Nerd. I love making uh, those videos too, but yeah, it's just the YouTube algorithm, right? It's like, it's hit or miss. Like if you, if you make a really, like I've made really, I've invested uh, time sometimes into making these really great videos. I think they're great. Like they're, you know, like eight hours on one video sometimes editing and stuff and i think it's gonna work and it doesn't really work it's like oh dang it didn't get many views and then i'll just like make a video that would take me 30 seconds and i think it's kind of funny don't expect much and then it gets like a half a million views like it's just youtube right it's like it depends on like what how people click it depends on a bunch of different factors but that's the only crappy thing i don't like about youtube is uh they um it's almost like they they detect like a video garners a ton of views and they cap you or something it's like you can almost know when your video is gonna cap off all the time right but that's just the way they are it's like this predetermined glass ceiling you can't get through or something you don't know what this song is it's on the bottom scrolling 
Oh yeah, but like you've probably seen it, but you don't know what it is. I don't know what it is either. I'll just change it. I don't know what the heck that is. This is called windfish. We'll leave a bit of windfish on, whatever the heck that is, I guess. Whatever windfish is. Ah, oh, there we go. I think it's a ratio between the theme of your video and the amount of uh, research is linked to that same time. Yeah, there's, I mean, it's the algorithm, right? Um, it depends on how many people click it and if in a short period of time at release too, and then they, they use a whole different bunch of factors. And if everybody knew how to game the algorithm, then um, there'd be, it wouldn't be fair. So they always change it. They always mix it up. They keep it kind of under wraps. You know, there's not much you can do about it. Can you put Windmaker Wind? Hey, Paul, how's it going? Paul, I just let everything play, man. It's, it's, um, if it was a more, if my stream was a little bit more, um, like 1DS or something, I'd probably go over and type in some music, but I'm using two hands to control like a DS and a Switch controller, um, the Shiny Hunt is. So I just don't have time to like change music up and type in music and for the stream. But uh, I'll just let whatever play. But during my shorts live streams, I'll probably have more time to do that because it's like one. Dun, dun, dun. But yeah, Wind Waker music's amazing. I hope some does do come on. It, it always kind of happens, usually. Let's go, right? Hopefully. Hopefully something happens. Uh, you recently uh, bought a 3DS, but then you learned that the online functionality would end a day after. Oh my god, yeah, it ended, it ended a little while. Um, uh, There's someone on the Discord uh, that actually went on for like 60 hours or something past the, the deadline if you kept it connected or something. It was kind of weird. Oh yeah, speaking of um, uh, the Discord guys, go check out the new Discord server. The link is, uh, it, it'll be like Nightbot will usually do it, but I'll just put it in the chat. Go check out the new Discord server if you if you use Discord and you aren't on there yet. Um, it's a good spot to be. Thank you. And 381 and 839 coming up. Uh, Castlevania fun. Yeah, definitely, man. I remember uh, Castlevania on the SNES was my first time playing Castlevania. Um, I loved it. I played the heck out of that game. But I, and then I bought uh, after the SNES, like I bought the uh, N64, um, and uh, Castlevania 64 was a pile of garbage. Like it just didn't grab me the same way like uh, SNES version did. But I absolutely adored the SNES version. It has some really good music too. Get you self destruct. We can blow up his head and die. <laughs> Pretty much, right? <laughs> he has a different way to do it, Paul. Um, let me change the song. Guys, we got some sleepers there today. Weird. There we go. And run. Now I gotta look at Shaman because I don't know if it was shiny or not. Come on, camera. Oh, come on, camera. Focus on the Pokemon. Okay, one. Yeah, even on a DS, they were they were insane. Yeah, I didn't play any DS Castlevanias. We're not getting Moltres tonight, or what? <laughs> Do you think we are? We're a half hour in. We're at three thousand eighty-five. That's terrible. You think by now, right? Quick softer sets though, and run. Moltres is fried chicken. Yeah, sunburned chicken, for sure. Just get the shiny, easy. Yeah, I mean, I got the, uh, I got the, uh, why do you call it, in case you guys didn't see it, or if you weren't here. I think some of you were here. Um, Cyndaquil and Heart Gold Soul Silver on the last live stream, I got that one. That was my latest, so I'm, I'm, I'm reset now, so I'm hopefully my, my luck is gonna change. Underscore, yeah, we called it underscore exactly, Tony. Why does Puffin actually think he's gonna get the shiny? Well, the fact I'm shiny hunting 
makes it there's a chance if you're not shiny hunting there's zero chance so i would admit not getting it if i wasn't shiny hunting but you know i am so i'm gonna get it a novice right something's gotta shine tonight that's the positivity i'm looking for thank you novice i appreciate it you didn't get to see the shiny because you left the stream well you know that's fine paul um i uh I always upload clips of the shiny too. So uh, I'm sure one of the mods will link it in there anyways. But uh, if you want to go check out the clip, it's on the um, on my YouTube page under videos. So if you do miss the stream or miss part of the stream, you can always look at the reaction after. Oh, you saw the clip. Okay, good then. Okay. So you didn't see the shiny live is what you're saying. You didn't see it happen live. I understand. The pairs in 3263, right, Inkachu? Right. Um, there we go. Do we need to uh, punt an alchemy each reset if it's not shiny? Probably, yeah. Yeah. this thing you mean this emote <laughs> yeah you can punt the emote that'll be probably better for your health and restart and run away again there we go I wonder if they're gonna have a different shiny hunting method in the new game. You know, like, like if if it's gonna be taking place in a city, like, is there there's not room for hordes and stuff? Like, you know what I mean? Like outbreaks in a city? Maybe there will be. I don't know. Maybe all the shinies and stuff are gonna be happening in buildings. Like, the further you go up, like an office tower, the more shiny like luck you have or something. I don't know. <laughs> SOS fishing. Yeah, I don't know, right, Jerry? Roof jumping, probably. How much is membership, Paul? Uh, 99 cents will get you to base membership. And then at 2.99, there's another tier that has additional benefits. And one of those benefits um, includes every, well, all the benefits include from the previous tier, but you also get a puffin sticker in the mail and you get a little star next to your name up there. You just got to send me your address and uh, email me your mailing address. I'll send you a sticker in the mail. Wormhole chaining. Yeah, I imagine, right? You want that sticker, Tony? If you want a sticker, you got to send me your address in the in the, in the the mail or in the email and I will send a sticker in the mail. That's the only way I can do it. No thanks? Okay. <laughs> I don't worry. I'm not going to look up your address. I'm just going to write it on a piece of paper and send you a sticker. This is the only way I can get stickers out anyway, so. All right. Ah, uh, going back to that. I was waiting for someone to say that destroy. Yeah, <laughs> give him a file to 3D print it, right? Right. Um, yeah, I. Uh, yeah, I won't retain your address. It will be destroyed totally. Um, how's it going, Priz? It's good to see you. What's up? Welcome. What a chill song. That is chill. That is super chill. It's, yeah, it's like good night. Favorite bat, how's it going? What's up, welcome? 3,100 guys from Ultras and 846 for Shaman right now. I'm doing good. Thank you so much. How's your day going? I personally still going from you too. Oh, really? You still going? And do you, do you know roughly how many times you you reset Priz or you just can't remember? Or you, you haven't been keeping track, I don't think, have you? Right. 
run. Yeah, it's been like six days. Oh God. Well, you know something? You can almost calculate it. It's a bit difficult to do it if you know you're like spotty with it, but you can almost calculate it if you like find out how many times you did it per day and you can almost calculate how many resets are in a minute and then how many minutes obviously an hour times it by 60. It's like three resets per minute um, times that by 60. You can find out how many resets you've done in an hour and then how many hours were you doing it. And then you gotta like, um, then you gotta like give a bit of leeway for like, oh, I stopped doing it for a little bit. And that, you know what I mean? And you can roughly estimate it. Hey, thank you for the two pound donation 3D. I do appreciate it. We're gonna get that read out by Woman's the text. Woman's boot meat, underscore puffin milk. It's super effective bomb collision. <laughs> Uh, puff and milk? <laughs> what the heck? It's super effective bomb collision. Underscore puff and milk. <laughs> puff and milk. That's the name of the emoji. It's called milk because it's Al Creamy and we're in the group puffin on the emoji. Um, it, it, it read out the emoji name, which is puff and milk. <laughs> Oh, that is too funny. Glad to see Cyndaquil shine for you. Um, here's uh, hoping Moltres does the same. Thank you, Square. I do appreciate it, Square. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? My own brand of puffin' milk, guys. Gonna hit the grocery stores tomorrow. That's too funny. <laughs> Cyndaquil puffin' milk. Ace Trainer, how's it going? What's up, welcome? You're in, yeah, it, it says the emoji. Yeah, the text to speech will will read out the name of the emoji. So just for like, um, just for like, uh, to shorten it up a little bit, I ended up uh, uh, calling it milk instead of like Al Creamy when people go to type it out. Why is there a Christmas song on? What the heck? God, that's annoying. Goes to puffin cereal, right? Exactly, Priz. Will it be international? Totally. It'll, it'll be. It'll be gal galactical. It'll be all. It'll be like when we say universal, we're not talking about the world. We're talking about the galaxy and beyond, my friend. It's going. It's going everywhere, all over the universe. Intergalactic, yeah. Intergalactic. It comes with the puffin sticker. Yeah, of course it does. Like, why wouldn't it? What would it take you for you to sell puff and milk? Um, well, I would need the product. So I'd have to like buy a cow maybe and like write puffin on the side of the cow and bang, puff and milk every day, right? It'll be like the, the milk you get in Zelda where it like restores your energy and stuff. I think that's what milk does in Zelda, doesn't it? Like restores hearts or something. I don't know. Can't remember. Pack of dollar store Pokemon cards. Yeah, exactly. Shiny hunt a mill tank sign. There you go. Or spray paint a cow blue or something. Hey, Amanda, how's it going? I'm glad your shiny starter was female in the Cyndaquil hunt. Oops, I just reset my 3DS back accent. I didn't see because I don't like short streams. That's fine. And because I like how they display on my TV or tablet, but hey, nice find. Yeah, thank you, Amanda. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, I'm going to, I do a mix of short streams every now and again. Some people like them, some people don't. And it's, um, uh, it's, it's, you know, like, it's just one of those things you two put out and it does kind of get exposure for the channel, but I might do like one every now and again. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, there's a video on it too. Moof and Milk. Yeah, exactly. Right. And no pink Moltres there. 851 for Shaman. Shaman's in the grass, yeah. It's in flower paradise. So many flowers. Can't, I can't get tired of the beautiful scenery. I just want the shiny though. Like everyone. A 
and 852 run on chicken and sonic ever done slash considered retro gen hunts like retro as in like game boy you mean um yes and no like i, I might do a crystal one really soon i'm I've, I've started a crystal i have crystal started on two different devices so i might do a celebi hunt um soon but like as far as like like gen one and and some other ones i don't know i like i don't have i have gold and silver but like i don't stream every day and i don't stream for very long either when i do stream so like some of the big god odds hunts will just take up so much of my time um and i i like to get like reasonable hunts i can produce like shinies you know like I get excited about so that's why my, i don't usually do like the, a lot of the god odd stuff only on different occasions special occasions or freaking dual hunt you don't think you can watch because he had drowned for his what yeah you like the game boy advance hunts yeah of course onion fairy yeah it is the old one shinies are pretty rare yeah they are right um if i'm gonna do if i'm gonna do celebi I might do a dual hunt with Celebi, like a, a dual shiny hunt, like I'm doing here, but have two, <clears throat> I have the virtual console on my, uh, my 3DS and my 2DS, so I'll probably do a dual one. Just the, like, half the odds at least, you know, or chances. And there we go. Ooh, not near yet. Yeah, Spider Dance is on. Has anyone in the chat shiny hunted Shaman in BDSP yet? And if you did, what did you and did you finish it? Did you get it? And what did you get it at? I need some encouragement. Nobody shiny hunted it. You didn't. You didn't, Tony. Anyone else? It's a one in four thousand ninety sixer. Oh, you didn't get uh, Arna the item for? Okay, yeah. I think it was it a letter. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, it was Oak's letter. Yeah, I missed it for um. I missed it for uh. My pearl copy for diamond. I got it, which sucks because I could have really did a dual hunt with it, like Dark Cry, but whatever. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not I'm not allowed to complain, Vic. I'm just spoiled from the Cyndaquil hunt, that's all. I'm super spoiled from that. Oh hi Tony's cat. How you doing? Meow. <laughs> Uh, Rainbow Wolf Vods, how's it going? Welcome to the live stream. This is a good tune though. Good remix, I should say. Some of the Spider Dance remix suck. One of the Undertale bosses are also called Muffin and you are Puffin. Yeah, that rhymes, doesn't it? So funny, right, Paul? <laughs> I'm lucky my copy of uh, Platinum has a letter from the event way back. Oh, nice. Very cool, uh, Square. Yeah, as soon as Austin said you were looking at the time, that's yeah, fine, Vic. Shiny hunting is like that. Like, I don't expect people to be glued to the screen or anything. It's, it's, you know, it's the only time I shiny hunt is when I stream. Um, it's just a, it's a very repetitive nature. It's not like any other game play, right? So it has different stats on YouTube for sure. Very repetitive. Kind of doing it for one thing. Very addictive though. It can be. Bomberman, what? Bit of clang. There we go. Clang is good. Are oh, you doing good, Rainbow? Awesome.
and run. Being glued to the screen sounds awkward. Oh, right. You didn't mean literally. No, no, I didn't mean literally now. You know, figuratively. Where is that chicken though? Where do the chicken be? Where did it, where did it be at? That's over odds. I can, I'm, I'm safe to complain about that one. The, um, the complain police can't police me on that one. And there we go. Yeah, it's literally a chicken and a hedgehog we're hunting. Run. How's the wife, Puffin? The wife? Uh, my wife is doing well. Thanks for asking, Tony. I don't know. Don't know where it's to, 3D. I love, uh, I love Slowpoke. I love the derp. What's your favorite derpy Pokemon, guys? I think mine is a cross between, or a battle between. Ah, oh, God. Probably Stunfisk and Quag, maybe. Plodsar, yeah. Plodsar for sure. W yeah, Wobbuffet is good in Derp. Slowpoke is though too. Yeah, Slowpoke definitely has a lot of derpiness. Derpymon. That'd be a fun uh, live stream series to do. Shiny hunt all the derpy Pokemon. <laughs> Welcome to the derp stream. Woob of it. All I remember about uh, Wobby, Wobbuffet or Woo Buffet or whatever is um, when I'm like hatching eggs in Sword and Shield and at the, you know, the bridge uh, on, I think it was Route 5 to Acre, you know, that big bridge that kind of goes over Bridgefield. Um, at the end of that, in the grass, there's a bunch of Wobbuffet there and I always like, if I'm not paying attention, I run into him when I go to turn around. That's all I remember about that dang one interrupting my hunts shiny igly buff is a demon <laughs> a demon they're a punt looking for the derp shinies there you go 3d right doip 3142 we did 142 soft resets already 48 minutes not bad We aren't all demons. No, not all of us. Definitely a lot of angels there, right? Mm hmm. Magikarp is kind of derpy. You're right. Nobody, everyone forgets about Magikarp, right? It's true, Vic. I like this theme. This is a good song. Oh, guys, I'm um, also, how does my mic sound? I, this is a brand new mic, believe it or not. I had to replace it yesterday. Um, that's because like my I canceled yesterday's stream and I did it today. Uh, my mic was just like, remember how the USB cord was like, or the USB port was always wonky? Um, I uh, I actually, uh, like the port was so, dis it was more disconnected than connected. So I finally had to like, but it's the exact same model and everything. It's just a newer one. That's all. Yeah, you can tell the difference. Yeah, that's good. And I think it's because it like the software is configured for the mic. Um, so it's the same software, just different mic. So that works good. I got it at Best Buy. I didn't get it on Amazon. I also replaced my mic arm too. The, the old one was getting a bit like weird. Uh, run. There we go.
Shopping spree? Yeah, I wouldn't call it a shopping spree. It's been a while, number 23. How's it going? It's been a while, number 23. It's good to see you, my friend. And guys, don't forget about that Discord. Yeah, we got a new Discord server. And if you're new here, drop it a sub. It'd be cool too, thank you. And uh, leaving a like on the stream. Much appreciated, thanks. Oh, there we go. Come on, Shaman. Give us some mighty BDSP luck. I like the new Discord. Yeah, it's nice and shiny and new. It's um, it's pretty chill so far, though. I'm trying to, like... I'm trying to, uh... Like, I haven't pinged everyone on it. That's one thing. That's, like, one kind of rule I don't want to do. I don't want to keep pinging people, so... Um, I want to keep it chill and more in sync with the channel sort of thing. But yeah, it's one of those. It has that new Discord server smell. <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, the, it smells like monster energy and people not getting shinies. That smell. <laughs> Make an announcement ping? No. Run. Spell of not getting a shiny. Yeah, disappointment has a smell. It's called shaman. What's your favorite shiny scary Pokemon? Yours is Trevenant. Paul. Oh, um, hmm, man. Uh I you know what one really freaks me out? It's probably um Ban is it Banette? Yeah, like it's that smile, like that smile kind of freaks me out, probably. Mimikyu is Mimikyu is amazing. It is my favorite Pokemon. I think I've I've seen Mimikyu so much, like where it's my favorite Pokemon. I've seen it so much, like like online and like everywhere. That like it doesn't like it's not scary as much for me anymore. It's just like one of the gang. Yeah, Bennett. Oh, Megalovania. Crocodile freaks you out, but no one knew that. Yeah, I knew that. You don't like that one at all. Scariest uh, ever man is Hypno. Felt like you wanted to kidnap you with yo-yo tricks. Hypno, yeah, it's weird. Drowsy's weird too. Like when he moves his like jazz hands, he say, I don't like Drowsy. There's a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon that really turn me off. Like, I don't like Jinx. I don't like Drowsy. Um, there's a bunch of ones I don't like. Kind of weird looking. Mr. Mime, yeah. It's kind of strange. None of your business, Tony. Thanks for that pop -in. If I ever get a drowsy in the main game, I'll name it Jazz Hands. <laughs> Go for it, man. Go for it. Jazz Hands underscore. I get a feeling this shaman is going to be shiny. I, I just got that spidey shiny sense just then. Um, that would have been such a cool thing to predict, right? But no. Puffin milk. Oh god. That was so funny, man. And I'm sure the flowers are trampled by now, guys, are they? Yeah, you should, Tony. You should.
Neon Punk. Nice. Yeah, Jelly Man. That's a good one. I like that. <laughs> Mud Cake Shineless Boots. That's funny. Yeah, it should, it should be a dirt path. It should. Can you imagine if they, uh, if Pokemon actually did that though? Have like environmental effects like based on your movement like Red Dead Redemption does? It, it is something Game Freak would probably do though. They like, they pay attention to like, and they pay attention to the silliest kind of things and they don't pay attention to other like obvious things. Like, did you ever notice the food and uh, the food and like the, uh, the textures of clothing in uh, Scarlet and Violet. It's like super high res 8K. Like it's like really detailed, but then like, then the whole world stutters. Like when you walk around, it's like, can you just fix performance instead of visuals? That would be great. Thank you. Subway simulator. <laughs> yeah, it is cool person, no big deal. Drifloon is t terrifying, yeah. Especially like his Pokedex entry. Another spider dance. I'm sorry, I cannot do that. Here we go. This one's called Milk Bar. That's appropriate. Run. 907 3D? God, I hope so. I'd love to get it under a thousand. Yeah, this song is called Milk Bar. I don't know. Like if it's a chocolate milk bar or like a milk chocolate bar. Isn't that funny though? Milk, chocolate, and chocolate milk are two completely different things in a way, but they're reversed, aren't they? Milk tank bar, yeah. <laughs> Give me one sec, guys. I got a message here. Hang on. You're the only living soul who know make observations like that. Oh yeah, think about it though. If it's milk, milk chocolate, and chocolate milk, two completely different things, right? But like milk chocolate would be a type of chocolate and chocolate milk would be a type of milk. Yeah. Strawberry chocolate. I look tired. No, I'm not tired, no. I'm not tired. Well, kind of. Like, I'm chilled, mostly. I had a uh, kind of busy day at work, so just kind of... This is my relaxing time. Pokemon Ultra Moon. Uh, got the cool stuff. I got Pokemon Moon, and it doesn't... Ultra Wormhole. Yeah, yeah. The Ultra games, yeah. It's true, the Ultra games uh, got the wormhole and you can do like the uh, Ultra Beasts and the Legendaries in there. And you can get a good rate on about, I think 18 or 20 like regular Pokemon. No, not that many, probably like 14 regular Pokemon in there or something. Good shiny rate on those. And uh, there's some version exclusive things like version exclusive Pokemon, but there's also a couple of uh, Pokemon that in Sun and Moon that aren't in the wild anymore in Ultras and Ultra Moon, I think. Cause I, cause I do, I used to do extensive SOS hunting and I was looking them up. There's a couple, I can't remember what they are, but they went, they reversed it. And I do believe uh, Island Scan has different targets in Sun and Moon than Ultras and Ultra Moon as well. When you do an Island Scan hunt or whatever. Ah, that's okay, Priz. It wasn't that, it was kind of stressful, but nothing I can't handle. Run.
Thoughts on freezers? Man, um... They're pretty chill, I guess. There is a SOS Salamence, a begging call for help, and has low level. Yeah, there is, there is. Um, yeah, and, there, and you can do straight up big on, but yeah, I know what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, there is a, the Salamence one. It's a 1% Salamence, right? I knew you were going to say they're chill. Well, you know me well, Priz. <laughs> you know me quite well. All right, let me just kind of get past this one. Hang on. Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, restart. Eight seventy coming up for this thing. And no shiner. Yeah, three D. It's a good remix. This is a good one, yeah. And there we go. Uh, whenever I see game chops, I, uh, Envision uh, two pork chops poking through the shoulder buttons on a GameCube controller. <laughs> controller. <laughs> what the heck, Briz? Everyone has their observations, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I, when I see game chops, I don't think of anything other than I'm streaming because that's what I play all the time. That or I'll mix it up with like Glitch X City sometimes. Is your favorite Steel type Ultra Beast Cartana? Uh, is that the only steel type ultra beast or Cel Celestelia is another one? What? I don't know. That uh, stack attack is rock, isn't it? Yeah, Celestelia is, uh, is uh is steel yeah is it yeah 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 <laughs> yeah what was that what was that sound that was um you know what's annoying okay in microsoft windows windows defender will tell you we scanned your system and we didn't find any threats and it's like i see it like once a month when it happens and it's like I'll tell you what, if there's a threat, tell me. If there's no threats, don't tell me. Can you imagine if like every day or once a month, a police officer knocked on your door and he he was like, yeah, I was just in your neighborhood and yeah, there's no threats here. Everything is fine. Uh, carry on your business. It's like, okay, thanks officer. What was that about? You know, that's the way I feel like Windows Defender does it. It's like, I see Windows Defender pop up and my heart skips. It's like, oh crap, it found a virus or something. It's like, no, no, no. We're just here to let you know we're protecting your system. It's like, God, it's annoying. It's bad UI. It's bad software design. Should never happen. Microsoft. I get notifications, yeah. Every day at 11 p.m. malware bites tells me I scanned was done regardless of something was found. Yeah, I know. He's like, just to let you know we're here. We just scanned your system. It's like, I know you're here, but you don't need to tell me. Right? That person at the party, I'm here. It's like, thank you. I'm here. Yeah, yeah you already told me. <laughs> what? I, yeah, sorry. I'm salty. What's your favorite Pika clone? Yours is Emolga. Nice. Nice, Paul. I love Emolga. Um, yeah, my favorite Pika clone. I do like um, the Denny. Uh, and I kind of like, 
Oh, the new one, Palmy. Just want to be included. I think Palmy, Palmy is considered to be Pika clone, right? I don't know. Safari fakes its uh, antivirus thing is uh, is up to like twenty minutes, seconds. Using it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it just like tells you. Possibly. I mean, I know I can turn the antivirus thing off, but like. Good software, you shouldn't have to like do their work for them. It should be off by default, but like the, the notifications. And run. And let's go. Mimikyu isn't a Pika clone, but Togi is, yeah. Togi's definitely. How much shiny luck is in our top tours, Walter White Living? <laughs> How much do we got? 108 grams. We got over 100 anyways, right? Nice. Yeah. Good old DK music though. I like this one. I just stretching my neck is a bit it's been a bit weird lately. Ah, oh, there's an option. Okay, there you go, man. Awesome. As long as there's an option. Oh, look, I'm on the bike. I like running better. Oh, we had 608 cookies already? That's crazy. And restart. We're off by exactly 500. <laughs> oh my god, 3200 coming from Ultras, guys. This better not be one of those... Those, like, year-long shinies, is it? It better not be. One of those scam hunts, right? Shaman. Rotom SNES. Do you think we'll get any more Rotom forms? Nah. No more Rotom forms. Do you think we'll get any more Pokemon types? Or are, we, are they done with like adding types? Foot pedals? <laughs> ah, there we go. Ducktails, this is a fun one. I like this one. Yeah, 
the added stellar I was spelt in a second DLC for SV. Yeah. True, true. True. go oh man i thought that was shiny for a sec that moltres thought i saw some pink going on Oh, we got 20 likes. Oh, awesome. Amazing. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Cat's a bird. Yeah, right. Watermelon. <laughs> Would Would all Pokemon be considered shiny if a player is colorblind? <laughs> I don't know. Um... I think colorblindness has to do with the absence of certain colors, doesn't it? Is there a colorblindness out there? I don't know too much about colorblindness, but like, is there a colorblindness out there that makes everyone see, like, that makes all colors kind of like disappear, like, a, like literally black and white? Or is it like the absence of like green, so green would be like more of a brown or something? I have no idea. Oh, thank you, Paul. Appreciate it. Oh, monochromatic is it? It's also known as uh, acromatopsy. I, sorry, it's the most severe form of color blindness. Uh, none of your consoles have photo pigments that work. As a result, it would appear in black and white. Oh God, yeah, okay, gotcha. Look at that research. Yeah. All that research. Amazing. Science. Yeah, Mr. White. Yeah, science. Yeah, exactly. Science. Six percent of men uh, reduce sensitivity to green light. That's crazy. Yeah? All right, restart. Yeah. Hey, Spartan. Yeah, the three DS services are offline now, aren't they?
I do already have Moltres, and yeah, I got one for, um, I caught one uh, a few years ago and uh, traded up to Sword and Shield. But I'm uh, I'm getting one for my copy of Ultras and Ultra Moon now. I I've done that with a lot of my hunts. Mewtwo. I've done it with um, a lot of the Ultra Beasts as well. Just have because it's the Switch 3DS crossover. I'd like to have one in this game. Yeah. I couldn't really be bothered to do Dynamax Adventures for anything other than like the Tapus and. Uh, Stuff you can't really get in this one. Or in uh, Ultra and Ultra Moon, yeah. Mew Hunt, Mew 2 Hunt, and Fire Red. Mew Poo, yeah. Eight seventy nine. This is the Moltres. This is it. Oh, dang. I go way too far for that. I don't need to go that far. Sometimes you just don't pay attention. There we go. That, that was the shiny Tony, yeah. I see on the screen there guys i see a shiny moltres check it out <laughs> 32 30 yes finally guys that's amazing hey joshua how's it going it's yeah it's it's with the shiny charm 1365 finally man <laughs> it's done all right we'll we'll get into it there now and uh Oh my god. <laughs> I can move on finally. Uh, with the reaction. I, I was kind of silent. Yeah, that was one of those silent ones. <laughs> it's because I couldn't believe it, man. It's like it's like pink and, and beautiful. It's sunburnt. It was about time though, right? It, like it really needed to shine. Alright, so um let's get that. That means I gotta take these elastic bands off really carefully, not to reset it. Um, there we go, and there we go, and take this elastic band off. All right, and let's do this, guys. So, um, now, uh, first things first, I'm going to, uh, no, I'm just gonna go, no, I gotta be careful here. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bag. I'm gonna see if we have a roto catch. I'm gonna use a roto catch right away. Okay, we got a roto catch. That's good. We got three. Yeah, that's what charm. Charm. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's way over odds. Not way over. Yeah, kind of way over. It's it's over. I'm. We got it. I don't care. <laughs> All right. So, uh, um, bra. We're gonna have to. Let me see if I can false swipe it. Yeah, we'll we'll get it false swept. I don't think it knows any moves that kills itself. I'm not sure if it does. Soon to find out. I always go into these hunts blind. You can't get any roto catch anymore now online is gone. Yeah, roto catch happens within the game. 
It's like it's a uh, it's a uh, like an item you get on the spin wheel thing or something. All right, uh, let's false swipe it again. Fixing his rig. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna go and uh, go here, and we're gonna go to um, our sleeper. And we'll put it to sleep and we'll toss it in a ball. Yeah, yeah, I know the roto powers are through like that little roto, like you'll, you spin the wheel or it's like chance and it's a chance you can get it. Something like that. Uh, fight and then spore. There we go. You sunny day. All right, it's a sleep. So it's a sleep, false swipe, and let's see, and roto catch. All right, it has to go in a, let's see, what do we got? Um, not a master ball, premier ball. What do you think? I think a premier ball would be cool. Let's try that. One. Oh, it's out, it's out. It's still asleep though. Let's try another premier ball here. There we go. No self-harming moves? Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. What? Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, it woke up. Oh no. And it used flamethrower? <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, that's not good. Um, let's use the next Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, that's not good. Uh, actually, you know what we should have did and I totally forgot about it? Let's give this thing a Lepaberry and give it, yeah, so like if we have trouble catching it, it won't like faint and run out of its own moves. So um, let's use a uh, trick and give it a Lepaberry so uh, so it won't run out of its moves anyways. And then we'll do a, uh, we'll swap the skill, we'll do a swap of its, uh, oops, sorry, hang on, let me go back here. Uh, we'll do skill swap and get its harvest ability on this thing as well. There we go. Ancient power with a chance of Omni boost. Okay, yeah. So it now has harvest, so it won't run out of like TP um, and faint sort of thing. Uh, there we go. I had a harvest of the Leperberry already. Wonderful. Um, let's try another, let's try another Premier Ball. Why not? God, it's kind of, that's with Roto Catch as well. And there goes another one of my Pokemon. I got to be careful now. Um, let me see. Um... We can take out Mew Poo. Let's just switch out to Mew Poo for a sec. Moltres is shiny. Yeah, it is. I'm going to probably see if I have a revive. I want to see if I can use a revive on the... Uh, um, on the... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, the Shinotic to get this thing to sleep again. All right. Let's not play any more games. And let's see if we can toss it in an Ultra anyways. Self-destruct, Eric? Probably, right? My luck. All right. One, two, three. Let's go. Ah, oh, there we go. That was safe. Four guys in an Ultra Ball. Do we have names for this thing? Oh, cool, Paul. Yeah. You went out to check it? Yeah, nice. Do we got any names for this? Hey, Hoang, how's it going? Blazing? Yeah, I kind of like blazing. Blazing, and we'll just go like blazing like that, right? Yeah, that's good. Blazing's cool. I kind of like blazing. 
And Blazon sent to a box. Let's go check out its stats, guys, okay? What ability do you think it has? I'll save first. Ah, uh, save, yes. There we go. What ability do you think we're, we're looking at here? Or nature, I guess. Or, yeah. Ability, God. Nature, I meant. Not ability. Yeah, you got the name it. Yeah, Vic. It's a good name, my friend. Um... Right, we'll go here. Uh, Charizard. Bold. Lax Rash. I'm gonna say, um... I'm gonna say Timid. No, Tony said Timid. I'm gonna say, um... Is it Hasty? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say Hasty. Lonely. Ah, uh, Moltres. Here we go. It's a gentle nature, guys. A gentle nature or pressure ability, obviously. Um, do I have uh No, I don't have the um whatchamacallit? Uh I don't have the IV checker unlocked in this game, but in my Ultra Sun copy I do. Yeah, let's take it out for a quick uh, run around the block, shall we? Ah, uh, there we go. See what it looks like. And guys, I'm going to jet right after we see what this looks like. Do you want to get a raid target going, 3D? Maybe we can do a raid on someone. I'll come back. I got to reconfigure this and get another shiny going um, for the next live stream. So let's just check it out. Um, maybe Paul, I'll see, I'll see. Um, there's for Fru. And it's gorgeous, guys, look at that thing. Blazin's Pressure, I like it. It's a good name too, isn't it? I kind of like it. It's a wonderful name. Yeah, Jerry, I'll take it out again in a patch of grass while we're waiting for a raid target from 3D. Um, and I'll do, if you, if you missed it, guys, I'll just do the clip or whatever, but it was, yeah, it's a pretty run of the mill shiny. We got it. We got the chicken. That's okay, Amanda. I'll, I'll, I'll clip it and, and upload a clip later, maybe. Um, there's this pressure. Let me just run again. And we'll continue Moltres with another, uh, we'll duel it with another thing too, right? Essentially. So stick around, we're gonna do a raid. One sec. Grand Bull. Run. And you can scroll back, yeah, uh, you can. Come on, Blaze. There you go. It looks good, though. How's that link coming? 3D good? Oh, I haven't battled that trainer yet. Maybe we should just do a battle. There we go. Oh, okay. Let me just see what I can find. One sec, guys. One sec. Who is online? Here we go. Alright, let's go do a raid, guys. Um uh right right here. Uh this person, hashtag puffin raid, guys. Um, I'll see you on the next live stream, guys. I'm gonna like reconfigure another 3DS hunt. And uh, I might do like an SOS in between there though. So um, thanks for hanging guys. I do appreciate it. And stay tuned for the clip in case you missed it. And I'll upload it after. And uh, peace everyone. Have a good rest of your day. And make sure you go to that link and we'll do a raid. Okay. Peace. See you guys.